Hey guys, today I'm going to react to The Legend of Technoblade. I'm going to turn on the video. Technoblade has seen a lot in his seven year journey on YouTube, and today we're covering it all. From the Potato War to Minecraft Championship to the biggest duel in gaming history, this is The Legend of Technoblade. Since this is a long video, I put timestamps in the description to all the different topics I'll be covering. However, all of them are related, so it's best to watch the whole thing in order. Also, this video took weeks to make, so if you could take one second to subscribe, it is completely free and it would make my day. Thank you. Now that that's out of the way, let's start from the beginning. Believe it or not, Technoblade has been on YouTube for over 11 years. He began his first channel, Studio Lord, on July 5th, 2009. He posted infrequently for the next four years, building up a solid 47 subscribers. Soon, he saw the rise of a new game on YouTube, a game called Minecraft. He decided to ditch the Studio Lore channel and move on to a new one where he would start posting Minecraft content. On October 28th, 2013, he created the channel Technoblade. Technoblade hey, already been playing on smaller faction I like PvP channel, servers way, and I'm absolutely dominating them within a couple of weeks. So he decided to take on the challenge of joining a bigger server. He could have chosen Mineplex, the biggest Minecraft server at the time, but instead he chose the up and coming server, Hypixel. For his first six months on the server, he played Minecraft Hunger Games as it was the most popular game at the time. After those six months, he had only gained 300 okay. subscribers, so he decided to shift his focus to something more interesting. He began making montages of himself beating some of the top Hunger Games players in the community, Whoa. which finally allowed him to start gaining traction. During the next year and a half, he had reached nearly 14,000 subscribers, but something was about now, to happen this is a... that completely changed the course of his channel. Whoa, this video really Hypixel depends on how much subscribers I have. This game was Skywars. Sky Wars was an instant hit, holding nearly 8,000 concurrent players. Six subscribers, so this Hypixel's is a six subscriber special. Techno immediately started recording Sky Wars content, but he Thanks. needed a way to stand out from the crowd. So he began grinding ranked Sky Wars. Before long, he secured a spot in Masters Division, reserved for the top 10 ranked players in the world. He top spent the next two years making content on Sky Wars and amounted over 100,000 subscribers during that period. After discovering live streaming and continuing to grind Skywars, his channel doubled in size within a few more months. Around this time, he did something so random, yet so impressive, it went viral. It did? He beat Minecraft Hardcore using a steering wheel. Steering wheel? Minecraft Hardcore is a version of survival that is locked on the hardest difficulty, and would automatically delete the world upon the player dying once. As if that wasn't hard enough, he decided to beat it using a steering wheel instead of a keyboard and mouse. Through his journey, he went through many challenges such as spawning over lava lakes in the nether, Ooh, losing that's his so home, lucky. having many close encounters with mobs, and using a steering wheel. Yeah. After 9 long hours, he finally managed to beat the game, and the video now has 8 million views on his channel, making it his third most viewed video beat only by Skyblock and Proof I Don't Auto Play. You guys are all just mad because you're bad. Alright, that is 732 times per second. As you can see, I just clicked that. You're bad at video games. You're good. Yeah. Soon after this video, another new game was released on Hypixel. On June 29th, 2017, Hypixel released their biggest hit yet, Bed War. Techno immediately jumped on the trend and began making Bedwars videos, until one day he realized that he had won 349 games in a row. After realizing how crazy of a number that was, he decided to see who had the highest win streak at the time. What he found surprised him. He was only 25 wins away from beating the world record. He knew Whoa. he had to go for it, but he had to do it right. So he gathered a team of elite Bed Wars players and together they would try hard 4v4 Bed Wars, attempting to get the highest win streak possible. He uploaded his first video breaking the record on September 23rd, 2017. And with this, began the Bed Wars win streak world record. God, that's nice 
it's music to my ears. And Technopoly currently today has over 10 million subscribers. One week later, something happened that brought insane attention to the streak and put even more pressure on Techno. Wow. At a streak of 600 wins, the owner of Hypixel, Simon, tweeted out that upon reaching a 1,000 win streak, he would reward Technoblade with $2,500 of store credit to give to his fans. Wow. There was no going back. Techno would either continue the grind or fail in front of hundreds of thousands of people. And so, the grind continued. Powering through hackers, stress, and thousands of helpless players, on October 14th, Techno and his team managed to reach a 1,000 win streak in Bed Wars. Just a few weeks earlier, the record had been 374. Dominated, Techno. Techno had shattered that by nearly three times. And he wasn't done yet. For the rest of October, the streak continued for hundreds of games until it became more of a burden than a challenge. And on October 26th, this happened. So anyhow, I'm throwing it away now. I'm yeah, doing it. No, no, I'm a big boy. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on. I'm pushing you towards my bed. Do I have to combo you across that bridge? You can do it. Yes. Yes. You're doing it. You're doing it. Yes. I'm free. He had ended the win streak at 1,400 consecutive wins in Bed Wars. After Techno set the record, lots of people attempted to break it, but nobody could. This unbelievable record stood and stood for a miraculous three months? Huh? On January 27, 2018, Techno uploaded a video where he teamed up with Defone, who was approaching the record at the time. In this video, the team managed to get Defone to a win streak of 1,401 wins, breaking the old record. As with the last win streak, they did not stop yeah. there. The team continued grinding, reaching 1,500 wins, 1,600 wins, and even 1,700 wins in a row. Then, as with the last record, the phone got bored and decided to end the streak. And just like that, two months later, on March 15th, their streak ended at 1,818 wins. Well, and that so nice. is where the Bed Wars win streak record stands today. After the Bed Wars win streak saga, Techno returned to posting his usual Hypixel content, mostly Skywars commentaries and Bed Wars challenges. Also, a few Fortnite videos. Anyway, his views started to stagnate and trended downward for the next year and three months, until June 2019, when something totally unexpected happened. In the span of 10 days, not one, but two channel-defining trends began on Techno's channel. The first was Hypixel Skyblock, more on that later in the video. And the second was Minecraft Monday. Oh, Minecraft Monday? Minecraft Monday was a 14-week competition created by Keemstar that united many YouTubers from various communities to fight in a series of minigames for a grand prize of $10,000 each week. YouTubers such as Ninja, PewDiePie, James Charles, and even Whoa. Mr. Beast all joined the competition, fighting head-to-head -head in various Minecraft minigames. This event was first announced on June 11, 2019, and as soon as the announcement was out, Technoblade attempted to join the event, tweeting at Keemstar, Put me in, coach! Soon after, Technoblade was added to the roster of players due to lots of support on his tweet and a good following. After being selected for the first event, he was paired with Shotgun Raids, who today has 1.2 million subscribers. They were one of the most hyped teams and the favorite to win the event. Everybody knew to watch out for Technoblade. After a round of practice, the tournament began. In round two, the duo came extremely close to victory with seven kills, but lost to Woofles in the final fight. In the third round, he died fairly early with three kills as he was blown up by TNT. Shotgun survived to third place. In the fourth round, they came close once again, taking fourth place with six eliminations after falling to Vicstar. By this time, Techno had over 5,000 viewers, which was insane to him. In round 5, they died very early in the game when both Techno and Shotgun were critted out by Vicstar. They didn't even make top 20. In round 6, they finally made it. They won the game with ease and swept the final three teams. 
Techno finished with 5 kills. By this point in the tournament, Techno and Shotgun were down 100 points from Vicstar and Pizza Hut, and needed a major comeback to win the $10,000 prize. In round 7, Vicstar was their prime target, yeah, and with Vic 7 Star. teams left, they engaged in combat. Techno and Shotgun were severely outgeared but had the jump on Pete. After Techno comboed and killed Pete, he was quickly finished off by Vic. Somehow, Shotgun clutched up and got multiple hits on Vic, which ended up killing him. Later in the game, Shot got caught outside the border and barely survived, but then Skeppy immediately took advantage of this and finished him off, leaving them in fourth place. By round 8, Techno and Shotgun had closed the lead to a mere 58 points, leaving them within striking distance of first place. They started out the match looking for Pete and Vic, but failed to find them until the final 5. They chased them for a few minutes until they finally trapped and killed them, ending the match with 6 eliminations. When they got back to the lobby, they found out they were in first place by 50 points. They celebrated and bragged to the rest of the lobby even before the final 2 matches. While waiting for match 9, Techno got a donation. It was 500 Canadian dollars from the owner of Hypixel himself, who had yet another proposal for Techno. He stated that if Techno were to win the tournament, he would be rewarded with a custom pig rank on Hypixel for one week. This motivated Techno even more because to him, the rank was worth more than the $10,000. In round 9, more motivated than ever, Techno and Shotgun played it safe avoiding conflicts with players who are good at PvP and saving them until the end. This worked out very well for them, as they were able to eliminate Vic's team with ease and kill the Ooh. final two players, Captain Sparkles and Major Techno Kameen. Very good. They ended the match with 4 kills, a dub, and Techno peaked at 18,000 viewers, a new record for him. After the round 9 victory, the pig rank was in Techno sight for play. Techno, as they were over 120 PvP points record, ahead of Vic. But I can still All they had to do was get a few easy I kills and stay alive to reach the to challenge me? But at the like beginning that? of round 10, they were being hunted down by Vixstar. If they lost the fight, they would lose the tournament. But if they won, the $10,000 would be theirs. Yeah. Both teams had very similar armor, but Techno had almost full iron. The fight began in the forest and was quickly over. Shotgun took on Vic and Techno took on Pete. Within seconds, they had taken them both out. The final nail in the coffin came immediately after when the third place team, Jerome and Bayesian Canadian, were killed. This allowed Techno and Shotgun to breeze to victory. In light of the win, Techno attempted to pull out the USB steering wheel to play the final round, but it didn't work. With the win secured, they easily took match 10 with 6 eliminations, earning Techno pig rank and the $10,000 grand prize. Pig rank, yeah. The stream, which reached 21,000 live viewers, marked the beginning of a huge also, expansion of growth in Techno's channel, allowing him to reach 1 million subs and beyond. The victory in week 1 of Minecraft Monday proved him Techno as one of the best PvPers in the game and brought him plenty of recognition from bigger creators. But this was only week 1 of Minecraft Monday. There was so much more to come. By week 2, Technoblade's popularity had spiked, gaining well over 45,000 subscribers and almost 5 million views during That's this week alone, views. while also garnering widespread recognition from YouTubers as large as Ninja. This only continued as the weeks went on. As each week passed, he seemed to continually dominate and place in the top 3 almost every week. Before long, his undeniable talent brought him some extra attention from the event organizers. From week 2 and on, they continually made Techno find a new, less experienced teammate to play with him. In week 2, they split him up with Tapel and made him find a non-Minecraft YouTuber. So he chose Ibalistic Squid. Although Squid had some previous Minecraft experience, they let the selection slide. Bad choice. Techno once again dominated, winning the event for the second week in a row. This Techno led to an Blade, even larger amount of attention to Techno. At this point, Technoblade was quickly approaching 1 million subs, and all he needed to reach the milestone were a few more good performances. Over the next few weeks, Techno was like paired with Chris O2, James Jeez. Charles, Call Me Carson, and Jay Schlatt. In weeks 3, 4, and 5, he performed very well with a personal placement of first, third, and second, while his team took fourth, third, and fifth. In these weeks though, he was purposefully placed with teammates who were not very good at Minecraft. He also was allegedly sabotaged by Call Me Carson, who only scored 69 points throughout the entire event. On top of that, Techno was being targeted and teamed on for being the best player there. 
even with all of these odds against him, in week six, Techno and Jschlat had a real chance. After falling behind in the beginning, Technoblade dominated TNT Run, winning all three rounds. With a solid performance from Jschlat, they moved up to first. After decent performances in the next few rounds, it came down to Hunger Games. All they needed to do was get a few kills and place high. And that's exactly what Techno did, placing third with seven eliminations, resulting in Techno winning his third event. This win catapulted his popularity even further. In week seven, he was paired with Junkie Janker and had another amazing performance, placing first individually and second in teams. But this week, he would achieve something even greater. What? On August 8th, 2019, Technoblade reached a milestone every YouTuber dreams of. Yes! The 1 million subscriber mark. After six years of grinding, yes! highs and lows, and refining his skills, Techno finally reached the esteemed gold play button. From there, he has only gone farther, continuing Minecraft Monday for six more weeks, winning yet another in week 10, and playing until the event's eventual demise in week 13. Throughout the whole event, Techno never placed below fifth in teams and amazingly, never placed lower than third place individually. This crowned him the best Minecraft Monday player of all time. Over the span of the event, Techno gained 100 million views and over 700,000 subscribers so many views. and led to his inclusion in many more high-profile Minecraft events in the future. The other major series that began on Techno's channel around the same time as Minecraft Monday was Hypixel Skyblock. This series would ultimately lead to one of the toughest battles Techno would ever have to fight. Technoblade uploaded his first Skyblock video, the Hypixel Skyblock Experience, on June 14th, two days after the game came out. In this video, he detailed his journey over the first day or two on the game while making fun of it at the same time. As you may imagine, the video took off alongside the massively growing player base of Skyblock, becoming one of the most viewed videos on his channel, totaling a very impressive 8,800,000 views. 8, this was enough to cement Skyblock as the main source of Hypixel content on his channel moving forward. Within four days from his first video, he killed the Magma Box, claiming one of the better Subscribe weapons in the game at the time, the Ember Rod. Five days later, he became the fastest man in Skyblock, after this episode, Minecraft Monday slowed the pace of his Skyblock uploads, but they continued. Over the next four and a half months, he flew through the skies reaching places never meant to be reached. He fought dragons, killed his own kind for higher stats, and started one of the hardest wars he would ever have to fight. Lasting nine long months, consuming hours of grinding a day, ladies and gentlemen, the Great Potato War. Legend has it that Techno started farming potatoes to get hot potato books for his set of superior armor. After a few days, he realized that he had farmed enough potatoes to be in the top 50 of all players on Hypixel. Upon realizing this, he decided he had to be number one. His grind for the most potatoes began by grinding for more minion slots. He figured the more minions he had, the easier he'd be able to catch up to first well, place. So he spent hours grinding and achieved the 22nd minion slot. Now that he had 22 potato minions, all he had to do was optimize them. Next, he proceeded to upgrade all of the minions to level 9 to increase production as well as adding a farming crystal to improve output by 10%. Now that his potato pyramid was fully functional, he decided to look into the first place potato farmer to see what he was doing. By looking through posts made on the Hypixel forum, he was able to calculate number 1's potato output, and what he found shocked him. The man in first was outpacing Techno, even with less minions. He then realized this battle would not be over soon. And thus was born Technoblade's biggest rival on Skyblock, Squid. Squid. Squid had already been farming for months, so he already had about a 7 million potato lead on Techno. Even with the most powerful farm he could make, it would still take up to 6 months to close the gap. If the Blade wanted any chance of defeating Squid, he would have to find another way. After close speculation, Techno found a major problem with Squid's farm. The minions were too close together. This caused the minions to try to farm on other minions' land, causing no potatoes to be farmed on certain cycles, provided a player was on the island. 
Techno took advantage of this by leaving his alt account in Squid's AFK pool, dragging down the efficiency of his farm by up to 90%. Oh, Upgrading, oh, gathering oh, catalysts to power his minions and AFKing led to Squid's lead being completely decimated in a matter of days. And Technoblade was now the number one potato farmer. After a confrontation and some more upgrades, Techno was convinced that there was no hope for Squid. But he was wrong. After the first potato war was uploaded, everyone started farming potatoes for themselves. Everyone wanted to feel like they were a part of their own potato war. However, some people took inspiration differently. Within days, countless people had decided to help Squid by paying him millions in Skyblock coins or giving him the materials to unlock new minions. Squid, help Techno! While Techno was taking a break from the madness, Squid assembled an even more powerful farm than Techno's and started to catch up. Upon seeing this, Techno made his plans private and assembled his own team of players to take out Squid. Their first mission was to unlock the 24th minion slot, which had never been done before by a solo player. And after three days of grinding, him and his team had all the required materials to unlock the 24th minion slot. The next upgrade he went for was the Flycatcher. Even though the stat boost was minuscule, and the work required to get one was ridiculous, he had to get it as Squid had already started gathering the materials to make one. Once both of them had flycatchers on all of their minions, Fly they had catcher. both reached the limit for potato output from their farm, and thus had to start farming by hand. What? Every day, the two of them farmed for hours, and Techno's lead grew as fast as his potatoes. Before long, he calculated that he was about 22 million potatoes ahead of Squid which would take 200 plus hours of farming to make up. And right when they both thought the war was surely over, Hypixel released the pet update. At first glance, none of the pets had abilities that would help increase farm output. But upon acquiring a legendary rabbit pet, Techno realized that the legendary variant had a secret ability that could increase the output of farming minions by up to 30% at max level. By the time Squid found out four days later, it was too late. Techno's pet had already leveled up quite a bit, giving him an even bigger lead. You're and with that, the war key. moved into its final stages. In the third installment of the Potato War series, Techno revealed all of the plans he had to hide in the previous episode. By finding a loophole in the rabbit pet's boost, he was able to sabotage Squid's production at night, costing him upwards of 2 million potatoes over the two weeks it took him to realize what was happening. After more sabotaging and refining, Techno's lead was growing daily, but there was no end in sight. Soon, the two reached an agreement. First to reach 500 million potatoes would win the war. Simon, the owner of Hypixel, soon responded to the tweets saying the winner would get a surprise. And so, the race continued. Winner would get a surprise. Both farmed for hours and hours a day, slowly closing in on 500 million potatoes. But something happened on June 6th, 2020 that would change the war entirely. A new update added an enchant that automatically replanted crops when farmed, and an item was added that compacted items in a player's inventory so they don't have to spend time crafting. This upped Squid's farm output by six times what it was before and meant that Technoblade's lead could be completely obliterated in just a few days. Starting then, the two of them grinded for up to 12 hours each day. This would be the final stretch of the war. Two weeks after the new update, Techno started a live stream on YouTube where he showed himself reaching 500 million potatoes. Technoblade had won the war. And a yes. temporary NPC was added to the lobby, giving Techno a potato crown as the prize for his victory. Following the war, Techno and Squid stopped farming and moved forward with other things. And with this, the story of the Great Potato War is finished. During the war, another series began on Techno. Alright, so that was the Legend of Technoblade Part or 1, the Technoblade Rivalry begins. If you want to see more of the Legend of Technoblade, subscribe, like, and click on the video oh, video and slap the subscribe button like like your mom slaps you